Oh, we're back. Apologies for that. Hey. It, uh, hey. Internet problems are always the best thing ever, aren't they? <laughs> or not? <laughs> well. So before we went away, I was thinking you would tell us about your, I think Amazon was it, and, and books. Oh, the book. That's right. The People's Ghost Book. So if anybody's got any stories out there, new, still, I'm still looking for them. I'm hungry for them. Um, then just um, email them to me at Richard Felix at gmx.com. Richard Felix at gmx.com. Hopefully, if you've got any pictures, that would help a lot. Even if it's just a picture of the, the person that saw the ghost, you know, because, but any picture of the mm. house, the building, or anything like that helps because I, I'm a great believer in pictures. You know, a picture tells a thousand words. Um, but yeah, it, it, yeah, so any pictures, any pictures, any ghost stories. Send them to me, and we'll hopefully, if they if they're good enough, we'll put them in the book with your name. Is that um, for um, across the UK or a certain area? Or? No, no, anywhere. I mean, really, okay, I think wow. talking. I mean, ninety percent of them are UK. Uh, okay. But again, we might launch something even bigger next time and, and do a, a worldwide job. That would be quite something. That would be. That would be amazing. I've got to admit. That would be, amazing. That would be quite something. Because it'd be very interesting to see what countries had ghost stories and what stories didn't have ghost stories. Because I've always, for years now, I, I've said, and people will shout at this, shout at me for this, that the ghost business is an English speaking people's. When I say that, I'm talking about England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, America, Canada, New Zealand. Australia, uh, it, it it's you know. In, in other words, has anybody ever heard of a of a Toulouse ghost walk, or a, a Berlin ghost walk, or a Tokyo ghost walk? Um, I'm not saying they. Not Tokyo. Right? No, I can't imagine it, but you never know. I might be wrong. But I mean, I mean Prague. Mm. There are, there's ghost walks in Prague. I know that. Um, but mm. on the whole. They don't have the ghost culture that English yeah. speaking people have. You know, um, mm. they don't, as far as I know, have a plethora of ghost programs on TV. They don't have DVDs, ghosts. They don't have lots and lots of ghost books or, or, or ghost war that much in other countries, as far as I know. I might be wrong. I mean, Germany, obviously, the, you know, the word Geist, poltergeist, you know, is noisy spirit yeah, in, in yeah. German. So they, they have it, but they don't have the same culture, fascination, I think, that we have. Yeah. And that's everybody like England and Australia and else as well. So it'd be very interesting to see <clears throat> to see who has, I mean, for instance, you know, like Sweden or, North, you know, they have giants and trolls and things like that. But do they have? Dead people returning, you know. I don't know. <laughs> worth, worth looking at. It's weird, isn't it? It's so different around the world, isn't it? It does get different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is different around the yeah, yeah. It's it's our thing. But why is it to do with Vikings and? But then, I don't know. And mm. tall stories that the Vikings used to. Do. I don't know. Interesting though. So yeah, yeah the no, world, the people of the world's ghost book will be the next one. Fantastic. Why not? Why not? It would be. Yeah. Yeah, that would be quite something. Started something now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we started it'll be out soon. No, yeah, yeah, it'll be out soon. It'd be quite good, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. No worries. Um, Sal has asked online, what do you think about psychometry? <sighs> right. Good question. Very good question. It's a good question. Um, it's not something I've had a lot to deal with, to do with, to be honest with you. Um... I think, I mean, there's obviously, is it, is it to do with a connection that a spirit has with that, that item? In other mm. words, are they attracted to it or, or does it contain, does it hold ooh, some memory somehow from that person? There's a difference there, isn't there? You know what I mean? Um, I mean, yeah. like, 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 like a horn, like a teddy bear. But you know, you know, as you know, you know, a trigger object. You put a teddy bear in a bedroom where there's supposedly a child or somewhere because that child 
might be attracted to that that trigger object, if you know what I mean, sort of yeah. thing, like, um, which is slightly different to a teddy bear that that is haunted. Or, yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, or or a, a, an item that that holds the memory of the traumatic death that that person was actually holding or something like that as they died. Do you understand? Like almost a recording yeah. in the thing. Yeah. And a so really, it, really, yeah. really good yeah, a really good example of this was um oh dear. Twelve, ten years ago now I was doing De Derek and I were working on a on a TV program uh called Battlefield Ghosts. Um it's never come out yet. Need to do something about it. We've never done it. Never brought it out. Um anyway um, we were at the Battle of. We were down in um, uh, Somerset uh, on the battlefield of Sedgemoor, and um, we were in this museum. And this guy brought this small cannonball. It, it was more like a, a round shot, as it's called, about so big, right, about that that big. Um, and it was on display. It had been been fired during the Battle of of Sedgemoor, and. Um, I'm trying to trying to get my head around the story here. Yeah. Anyway, so the, we got it out the, the the glass case, and and Derek held it in his. Now he'd never been in there in his life. He'd never had anything to do with this or anything. But and that's genuine. I know that I was there, and he held this in his hand. And it's bloody obvious. It's like a it's like a, a it's like a big bullet fired yeah. from a cannon with, in 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 a bag with lots more, like a shotgun, and it shot. <clears throat> And obviously, pretty obvious that he's, he's got this thing in his hand which from a battle. You know what I mean? So it's pretty obvious that you're going to say something about <clears throat> I'm getting a soldier, I'm getting a battle, yes, I'm getting yeah. I'm getting death, I'm getting pain. Yeah, uh, yeah, all of that, right? You, you're going to get that. No, 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 no. He says, I, I don't. I, I can't tell you what. I, I don't know because I know what it is. You know, it's, it's a big. It's bullet. But he says, I'm, I'm getting church bells. I keep hearing church bells all the time. And I thought, okay. Anyway, the curator of the... Uh, this is all on film as well. I said, it will have to come out sometime. In dedication to, to, to Derek. Um, and the curator is sort yeah. of jumping up and down uh, with excitement. And I said, what? I don't... Sorry, because I didn't know. I couldn't. And Derek certainly didn't know. And the guy said, well, this is really quite interesting because this this piece of round shot was actually had hit and killed a, um, a government soldier. 16, 1685 it was. Uh, and the, the Redcoats were fighting these rebels in, in down in Sedgemoor. And this cannon was fired and this bloke was shot and killed. Um, and the round shot ball was still inside him uh, when he was buried yeah. and he was buried in the churchyard in a place called Western Zoyland which is where the battle more or less took place and um, when they did an, they were extending the, the part of the church and they were digging down and of course they dug up this grave of this soldier and all that was left, of course, was 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 the skeleton and this piece of round shot um, lying there as well. But it had obviously been in him, but his body had rotted away, and the round shot was still there. And the fascinating thing is that he was buried right up against the wall of the bell tower of the church at Western Zone. How fascinating! More than. Bells. Not as predictable, isn't it? Because, yeah, you're right. Bells. You would think that people go, oh, wow, well, yeah, as a soldier, you're going to get... Yeah, out, I'm getting you blood, would. I'm getting slaughtered. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, as, you know... Yeah, yeah. The battle, and I'm hearing yeah. battle sounds and cannon shots. And, no, that, to me, was... Yeah, that's a difficult yeah. isn't it, for mediums, really, because, like, when they go to a convent, oh, there's nuns here. Well, mm. you're like, well, that's obvious. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah. Because yeah. there would have been nuns there. Yeah, exactly, you know, exactly. It's kind of, you can't yeah. wing away. Yeah. Yeah, terribly convincing to me that terribly convincing, uh, and uh, proved very much to me that there's there's more in this than we realise. 
and there was more to Derek than a lot of people realised yeah. as well. Yeah, it's quite something that it really was. God yeah. bless him. Yeah. No, I, um, yeah, no, I did. A, I worked with Derek a couple of times in the past. Yeah. yeah. Things and yeah. And, um, I did. I remember one TV show I worked in when we were doing a seance, and he was yeah. he was next to me, holding my hand, and he was doing the um, started to get possessed and stuff. And I was like, I'm yeah. "What am I going to do? I'm holding, I'm holding his hand. What am I going to do?" And, and it was it, like, it, 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 it's just so awkward. That happens, isn't it? It's just, yeah, it's just yeah. hard to yes. explain. But yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more to heaven than earth than we realise. No doubt. There's a lot that. more. There's a lot more. Um, James, before you ask the question, I see him eagerly jumping in. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I did actually think of one while he was talking about Derek and mediums and stuff like that. Yeah. Has a medium ever told you something, say, to do with your relatives or something like that, and you thought, how did they know that? Mm, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we had uh, a lady called Eleanor. Um, Eleanor Thompson. She was our resident uh, medium uh, at uh, Derby Jail for years. She, she, well, in fact, her ashes were there. We we had them for a long time until her husband eventually took them. But her and her husband both ran Derby Jail for me for a long, long time. And she was, wow. she was interesting. She always said to me, she says, Richard, I'm really not sure that I'm psychic or psychotic. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure either. But she was great. She was, she was very impressive. And she, she told me that my dad was always around me, um, but he wouldn't show himself because he knew I was frightened of ghosts, which is true, which is so true. Because when I was having my nightmares in the middle of the night and what have you, and ter terrified, I mean, because I really was terrified i my dad was always the one that used to come into me during the night uh and of course he he or his comments to me was always 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 richard there's no such thing as ghosts there's nothing to be frightened of there's definitely nothing to be so so she said to me that he wouldn't ever appear to you because he knows that you're frightened and mm. that, that's absolutely, and, and i believe that's true because uh Without going into the whole story, uh, driving down uh, to a place called, well, the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst um, many, many years ago. Dad used to come down with me all the time. And then um, this particular year he died. This is, this is 1992. And uh, I obviously went down alone. And as I met up with the guy that we always used to meet up with, um, a Dr. David Chandler, who was head of war studies at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, I had to follow him down uh, about a quarter of a mile through the camp, the army camp, to his office. And when we arrived there, um, he jumped out of his car, came over to me, and he said, Richard, would you and your... and stopped and peered into the passenger seat. I said, sorry, sorry, David. He said, oh, I said that's all right. I thought, I thought your wife, I thought Julia would come with you. I said, no, no it's only me. Oh, oh, okay, he says. So he says, come on, then, come in for coffee. And as we, I, I got out of the car, we were walking, and he says, this is so strange, because he said, obviously I kept you in my mirror all the way all the way down to the camp, make sure you were still with me. And the whole time I was looking oh. in the mirror, there was someone sitting in your passenger seat. But I was alone. Yeah. And Dad always used to come with me. Dad always used to come with me every time I went down there. And, and yeah. again... I'd, I'd, and I didn't see him. I didn't sense him. I didn't see him. I didn't, nothing. But he was there. And as Eleanor said to me, he's with you a lot. But he, he won't appear to you because he knows you're frightened. And I'm thinking, wow. Yeah. So that, that was a good one. That's that's an interesting one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So whether he's here tonight, don't know. Might be. <laughs> oh, we never know. We never know. Yeah, never well, know. Yeah. You never know. Um. So I guess that you mentioned about the, the scary experience you had uh, at Derby Jail. We had a, yes. uh, a question from Kelly who's put outside of Derby Jail, as in another location you've been to, where would you say you were the most scared? So, Ooh. yeah, any other place you've been to? Oh, it's a big juicy scared. question, that one. Scared. Uh... So I never get scared. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yes, 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 there is. Um, and this is 
probably I'm, I'm into soldiers and battlefields and all that sort of stuff. Big that's my been my life really, military stuff. And, and I was in America uh, on the battlefield again, battlefield of Gettysburg, uh, which is probably the most haunted battlefield on the planet. And uh, I went over did a three did a three week tour of, of um, oh, New England. I mean, we co- actually covered eight states in three weeks. Uh, wow. And I went. I drove all the way from from Boston all the way down to Pennsylvania to Gettysburg, and spent two days down there on, uh, on the battlefield. And me being going to sort of uh, there's a um, Union soldiers. They're the guys that wore blue rather than grey. And there's a place called Little yeah. Round Top, um, where a amazing battle took place and the Union soldiers held off the Confederates that were attacking them up this hill. I've always been fascinated by it, so I, I wanted to do something while I was there. And I actually, again, believer being believer in, in trigger objects and things like that, I actually dressed, got, a guy lent me a, a complete uni, u, uniform of the Union soldiers that, that held that rocky outcrop. Yeah. And um, so I went alone in the dark through the woods, oh my God, up to the <laughs> top, where the little round top, and sat on the top of the rocks uh, with a camera. And it's on film. I've never, we've never, never seen this yet. Either. Uh, and um, I'm talking to him. And I said, Right, guys, now, uh, you know, I've been a, a big. Uh, follower of what you did and your incre- incredible deeds, how you held off the Confederates, and you guys of the 20th Maine, which are the regiment, I-, I salute you. And if there is any of you around now, guys, if you could, you know, use your story, you know, if you give me a sign, let me know. Yeah, and yeah. I got touched quite <laughs> high up on my thigh, to be quite honest with you. Oh, and I mean, oh, no. I bloody, I, yeah, I'm telling you, mate, I bloody, I, I jumped up and I fell off the rocks. And cut my leg out. <laughs> oh no! I, 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 so it's all on film. Yeah, it's all. I've never done anything with it, but I'm telling you, it, I, I, it, 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 I still cut. And it was not. It was. It was a really very solid. It was. It was a hand. I'm telling you, it was. It was bizarre. And and I cut myself. Bad. Quite a bad. I was wounded. I was actually wounded at Gettysburg. <laughs> that frightened me. That real because I was alone. Oh, up there, I, would, that, I I I hightailed it back pretty damn quick. I'll tell you, and got me got the wee, wee wife to dress me wound. <laughs> I said, I've oh. just been touched up by a union soldier. <laughs> oh, I ghosted him. Yeah, to be fair, we've done the whole dressing up thing as well, haven't we? We've dressed up in period clothing before. Yeah. To um <laughs> to to well, kind of see if it it was. does conjure more yeah. activity. It does seem to, doesn't it? It does seem to get more yeah, activity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see, one of the things is that that I've always said. You see, you've got soldiers on the battlefield that are still mm. around for whatever reason, uh, possibly because of the nature of their death, possibly because they're waiting for closure, because they've never their bodies never been found. You know, they've never been laid to rest. They've never had a, a Christian burial service and all of that sort of stuff. And they're still they're still on the battlefield. <coughs> and then all of a sudden, mm. some guys in the same uniform as them appear on the battlefield again. It's oh my god, the back, my mates are back, my regiment's back, yeah. and you, I, yeah. there's no doubt, as a, it certainly won't be me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, was, yeah. yeah, that was bizarre. That's the only word I can use bizarre. Um, so, I've got, I was trying to ask Richard, yes, do you think that only happened because you were dressed in that uniform? Do you think if you no. were in your normal clothes, it probably wouldn't have done? That's what I would put it down to, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what like Andrew I, said. I would put it down to. Um, it's one. And also the fact that I was sort of talking in, in well, what's the word I'm looking for? My respectful way that I tend to do with yeah, yeah. good spirit. Respect yeah, no, is such a big word right. in, this, in this game. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, right. You man. see people charging, don't they? And they're like, answer now, and, and yeah, if you oh, came into my house and I'd be like, get out, you know, you got to be respectful. Yeah, yeah oh, that's what I'd do if I was a spirit. Don't talk to me like that. Sod off, you know. I'm yeah, I would. It's true, yeah, isn't it? I said, 
But that's the big thing, isn't it? I think a lot of people do this. They don't respect the spirits of working with. And no, yeah, right, they, right. they, well, they were human beings. Well, they, they were human beings. Some of them yeah. still think they are. They don't know the dead. Yeah. Some of them. And 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 yeah. they they need to they command they should command the same respect as you and I, absolutely. You know, and I've always said that, always said it. You know, and so so cajoling them, swearing at them, do, as as of course they started doing on most haunted as well, which I thought was ridiculous. You know, respect, respect, big word in the ghost business that some people don't, you know, adhere to, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, I think they just want to be. I don't know why they do, where it's so brave and scary. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I must admit, sometimes it is sad how often people do treat yeah, the ghosts out there and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Of course, at the end of the day, they're just like us, you know? And they did. They, 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 that's right. They were you and me. But um, what I'm going to say, Richard. Before we do go, for everyone that's watching, yes, have you got any links or did you want to say about your book again? And, you know, hopefully we can get some oh, stories to you. Talk. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, Richard Felix at GMX, Golf Mike X-Ray, Richard Felix at GMX.com. Send me a story, please, if you've got any pickies as well. Uh, and, and my website, of course, is uh, richardfelix.co.uk richardfelix.co.uk uh, where you can order all sorts of DVDs, books, all sorts of silly things that I'm doing uh, including face masks with Dol <laughs> Jail and hey, I've seen that, I must admit <laughs> Well it's a bit of fun and people will, we will need them soon, it's only like having to buy the t-shirt yeah. isn't it, something like that um, So yeah, yeah. richardfelix.co.uk is the website Richard, I've forgotten it now, Richard Felix <laughs> at gmx.com it's for your ghost stories <laughs> Richard Felix at gmx.com great anything else you want to talk um, to me about it's been fantastic I've enjoyed it yeah no, thank you so great. much it's been, uh, ahead, 12 years it's been great to have you back again and be able to talk it's to you pleasure. again it's been quite it's a pleasure problem, so I might get down we will come one day, day. I don't know yeah, yeah, yeah well, we'll hopefully we'll come to again yeah fantastic that's it yeah so, yeah yeah James, I'll let right, you nice uh, uh, again. Because, yes, thank you yes. so much. James, I'll leave it with it's you. It's a pleasure. Most enjoyable, you too. as usual. I love it. Yes, yeah, so thank you, Richard, for joining us. It's been amazing. And just for everyone that's at home watching, once again, please do stay safe. And I hope you've enjoyed watching Supernatural Live. And thank you. See you guys. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you, everybody. Have a Cheers. good night. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Don't have to do it.